the, I don't just see anything and sit with anything anymore. I feel the need to uh, immediately comment on what I just witnessed. Anyway, uh, I say that because I almost forgot to send out the tweet that nobody reads, and now I'm going to do the YouTube video that nobody watches. Um, just saw See How They Run, which is really good. Uh, it's not perfect. It's not, like, mind-blowing. Um, it is a whodunit. It's um, kind of a meta whodunit. I have been sworn by... Uh, Sam Rockwell himself, who literally at the end turned to camera and broke the fourth wall and told everybody to not spoil the movie for everybody else because you obviously figure out who did it in the end. So I'm not going to spoil it. But what I will say is I really, I, I had a fun time. Um, it's not genre redefining. It's not, um, it's not Clue. It's not um, Knives Out. It's not one of those movies that people will look back on and say this defined or redefined the genre of whodunit and, and murder mysteries and all that stuff. But it is still fun. It's it's meta at several points um, in in its storytelling. You know, uh, the the plot is um, Adrian Brody's character is a um, film director who has come to London's West End and is um, going to take um, this Agatha Christie, uh, Ag okay, let me, Agatha Christie, uh, has written this book called The Mousetrap. I've never written, a, read an Agatha Christie novel. I don't know if this is a real thing or not. I don't know how much of this is said and it is actually real. But um, there's Agatha Christie's The Mousetrap, which is playing on Broadway, and Adrian Brody is coming and is going to turn it into a film, and uh, he is murdered at the beginning of the movie, and then he through narration says, yeah, it's a whodunit. You've seen a million of them. You've seen one, you see them all. And then proceeds to, you know, we proceed to watch a whodunit. Um, it's meta in that way. There are times where a character is talking about, um, they're talking about the movie that they're going to make. And they're talking about like flashbacks. Those are terrible. And they're saying this in a flashback that we are witnessing. So there's that kind of like those meta moments that are fun. You know, they're, they're cutesy. They, they're, Engaging the cinematography is great. It's not at some point. I was like is this Wes Anderson, but it's not but it is kind of it's kitschy um, Stylized, you know, it's set in the London in the 50s So you've got like little cars and you know locked off shots and everything's kind of really kitschy and, and doll housey and it's pretty um, it's, it's fun to watch um, Sam Rockwell is the lead detective. So anyway, Adrian Brody's character is murdered, and then there's a whodunit. Sam Rockwell is the investigator, and he, he's got this constable who's played by Saoirse Ronan, and they are trying to solve the mystery. And like a lot of these things, you've got, you know, a cat. You've got like 12 characters, and they all have different motives, and you kind of have to go through and figure out who did it and why, and and you know. Who's a suspect? Who's not a suspect? And rule things out. And everybody's everybody's got a potential reason why they might have committed the murder. And I won't give away the ending. What I will say about the ending, though, is that um, it wasn't super satisfying. Um, I went into this. I really enjoyed the first like hour of this movie, and then the last 30 minutes, as they got towards the end, uh, it just I don't feel fully satisfied. I guess there were tiny little hints, but it. And maybe if I went back and watched it again, I'd realize that they did drop even more hints. But from my perspective, there wasn't enough to the audience for you to figure it out. Um, although that's kind of a traditional whodunit. I, you know, Knives Out, obviously, you, you know what happened at the beginning, and then you kind of work backwards. Um, but well, even though there is still like a twist. Anyway. Uh, it, it's like a traditional whodunit in that way, like, um, you know, there's the, the third act and you get the, the, the reveal and, um, they're trying to, you know, they explain why it's not necessarily super exciting in my opinion, but I will say it doesn't necessarily break from the formula. So if you like that formula, great. This movie's, it, it, it's going to be perfect for you. If you're kind of disappointed in that kind of letdown 
you're gonna you're gonna feel that here. But like I said, the movie was still really fun to enjoy, just because it didn't, you know, turn the genre on its head and then you know reinvent something doesn't mean it still wasn't engaging and fun. It was like the character says at the very beginning. It's a whodunit. You see him one, you see them all. This is plot-wise just another whodunit. What's fun is the acting, um, the characters. Um, Saoirse Ronan is great. Sam Rockwell is is fun. He's um, really trying. He's really going at it with that. Well, he's not actually. It's very inconsistent. His British accent. Um, you get a bunch of actual British actors, or at least actors who can do a convincing British accent, and then you get Sam Rockwell, who is really sticks out in terms of his accent. And I don't know if that was maybe intentional in just the cinematography. They never reference it. They never like you know hang a lampshade on it so i think it was just maybe some you know a little bit of stilted acting but like i said it was still fun to watch these characters and um it's funny you know there are moments where you genuinely like chuckle at something that happened on screen or how a character delivered a line or or what happened it was it was quite fun to watch like i said even if it didn't necessarily um bring a whole thing of a bunch of something new to the genre it was still you know in its meta commentary and its characters and in its um cinematography it was fun to watch and it was enjoying so i'm going to give it a seven out of ten for see how they run um i should probably read an agatha christie novel i should probably uh you know read who is considered maybe not the best murder mystery person and but like of all time author of all time but definitely a major contribution and is a lot of uh, the inspiration and the basis for a lot of these murder mysteries are based off of the work of Agatha Christie. So I should probably read those. Anyway, thanks so much guys for watching. 7 out of 10 again for See How They Run. I recommend go seeing it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys stay classy. I usually end these videos and then I immediately think of something that I've wanted to say. No, I think it was pretty good. Thanks so much, guys. Peace out.